Good morning. One of the lesser known improvements to WordPress 6.1 was the ability to take themes like cadence or storefront or generate press and turn them into block themes. So what we've done is we've taken generate press and we've blockified it. We've created three template parts, a header template part, a footer template part, and also a 404 template part. That means you get all the goodness with generate press but you get even more control. So in this video, I'm not gonna go through exactly how you turn a classic theme into a block theme, but I put a link in the description below to a fantastic tutorial that talks you through how to do that step by step. This video, really, I wanna focus on the user experience, so what it would look like when you're using Generate Press that has been part blockified. If you want to have a play with what we've created, then I set you up a one-click website, link in the description below, where you can click that, and it'll launch you off a website with our Generate Press Blockified theme pre-installed. Once you've seen the demo, let me know what you think about it. Would you like me to release this as maybe a plugin or a theme or a child theme? I'm still thinking about this. At the moment, I've made it available to Club Poodle members. Again, link in the description below. Right, let's get into the demo. To demonstrate how much flexibility this might give you, I thought it'd be fun to try and recreate a real life website uh, just using the Generate Press Blockified theme. So we're gonna take this TK Maxx website over on the right and see if we can get fairly close to it. I'm not gonna try and get identical to it, but I wanna get the main elements in place. And it's got some really complex stuff in the header. So it has this search for products box up in the top left, which is, isn't the normal place to put it. Then we have the logo in the center. Then over on the right here, we've got some icons. Then underneath that, we have the main navigation running along here. Then underneath that, we have another sort of informational menu, I guess you'd call it, running under there with a gray background. So it's a pretty complex layout. And over on the left here, let's drag this, we have my website just using the Generate Press theme that we've blockified. If we go and look at it now, you'll see we've got the normal Generate Press heading along the top here. But if we go back to the dashboard and go to appearance, you'll see we've got template parts. This is the secret source. So we've blockified certain parts of this theme, namely the header, the footer, and the 404 page. And if we jump into the header template part, you'll see what we've done is essentially we've rebuilt the Generate Press header using blocks and now the beauty of this is we can design this just using the site editor so it gives us enormous amounts of flexibility to build out pretty much any kind of design right let's see how close we can get to the TK Maxx website so I'm going to look at the list view just to see what we've got to start with so I'm starting with a group block a row block the site title block and a navigation block and I think for speed today I'm going to use the columns block to recreate this three column layout to start with so what I'm going to do which is always a bit scary I'm going to start by deleting everything from this page and I'm going to start by adding the columns block because that's my three columns that I want. I'm going to choose this option just here which is three columns equally split and then I'm actually going to group that columns block as well because it will give me some extra functionality that I might need and then I'm going to start building it. So in this left hand column I'm going to add the search block so I just search for search, add the search block. I want to get rid of the label so I can click on this little icon here to get rid of the label. I think I probably want to have the button, there is no button actually. I quite like the button, I'm gonna keep the button. There we go, there's my button. Let's close that down. You can also resize this as well, by the way. See how you can just resize. And then I'm gonna put some text in here. Then in the middle column, I'm gonna add my site logo. So I just search for site logo, and then I'm just gonna center it here. And then over on the right here, I'm not gonna do these identically, I'm just gonna add some social icons, okay? And the other thing I'm gonna do with this one, I'm gonna center it vertically, so you can align it to the middle here. Just make sure you click on the column, the right hand column and choose align middle and that will actually align it to the middle. And then I think I'm also gonna style these icons and I wanna choose sort of a gray color I think, which is fairly similar to the TK Maxx website. So here's my effort so far over on the left and it's not bad actually. I've decided to get rid of my big red search box. It looks ugly. So I've actually gone back to the icon and I've put search for products. That's looking all right. So next up, I have to come down here and I have to add kind of the main navigation underneath. So let's go and do that. Let's make this smaller. So let's click on the list view. I recommend you use the list view a lot when you're doing this. So I'm gonna go click on the top level group block and go insert after. And then I'm gonna add under here the navigation block like so. So I think I just need to center that navigation block, which I can do with this little icon here. Let's just justify them to the center. That's center. Now the other thing that I've got, which I haven't done yet, is can you see that little gray line that's running under the logo just there all the way along? I think I wanna add that because that looks kind of smart. So let's see if I can work out how to do that. I think I can probably just add that to the columns block though. So if I select 
the columns block up here on the left. Come down here, I'm gonna give it a one pixel border and I'm just gonna choose a color here. Here's my site over on the left, not looking too bad really, and this is the TK Maxx site over on the right. One of the issues I've got is that I need a little bit of padding around my main navigation here. It's too tight to the top, so I'm gonna go back and just fix that up. And then I'm gonna try and replicate this little row along the top here. So let's go back to the dashboard and appearance and template parts. Click on the header template part and I'm gonna start by adding a bit of padding to this. Now I think what I need to do is group this navigation block because then I can actually add some padding above and below it. Let's just make this bigger so we can actually see what we're doing. Uh, so yeah, we can come down here and add some padding to it. That might be enough. Let's save that. And then what we want to do underneath there is add this row here, extra row with this stuff centered in the middle. Now I think we can probably just use the row block for that. So I'm gonna click on the group block, go insert after, and I'm gonna add the row block. And then I'm gonna group that one as well because we might need to add some padding to it. We might not, but, and then all I'm gonna do is add some words in here. Now I've added the words, all I need to do is center that row. So I click on it and I can justify it using that little icon there. I'm gonna justify the item to the center. And then I think all I need to do now is add a background color to the group block that's gonna have it bleed all the way across. So I'm just gonna click on big background and choose a kind of light gray color here. Again, I'm not being very precise here. I'm just working very quickly. Let's save that and go and have a look at that. One of the issues that you'll encounter if you blockify a classic theme like this is that you want to hide certain elements on mobile phones because otherwise you're going to show everything that you've added into the header on a mobile phone and you don't really want to do that all the time. So we've added a little utility class that lets you hide whatever blocks you want when it's viewed on a mobile. So just keep your eye on these little social icons blocks up here and also this row here. You'll see it as I squish my screen size to pretend I'm viewing this on a phone how they vanish. So here's the finished result. Here's the actual live website, the TK Maxx website over on the right. And here's my quick attempt, which only took me about five or six minutes really over on the left. And it's pretty effective. You can see it's a very complicated layout. I have to say it's not the most beautiful layout in the world, but you know, I could recreate it fairly accurately in not very much time at all. As I said, right at the start, this isn't a technical how-to video, but if you do wanna know how to do it, here are the steps now. Also a few problems here that we encountered and how to overcome them. So feel free to pause the video or print out that screen. And also there's a link in the description below to the step-by-steps on how you do this, a fantastic article, which I've linked to. We've also blockified the WooCommerce storefront theme as well. So if you're interested in that, it's available right now. If you're a Club Poodle member, just log on and you can download it for free. So let me know what you think about the Blockify Generate Press theme in the comments below. Do you like the idea? Let me know, good or bad. I'd really, really love to hear your feedback. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it interesting and useful in some way. If you did, if you can hit that like button now, it'd be amazing because it really, really, really helps spread the word of the channel. And also, every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. So thanks again for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. Keep well, and I'll see you soon.